Prom season is here. Hi, it's Susie, and I've had a few requests for prom nails. And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get started. Prom nails are really anything that matches your prom dress. So whatever your dress is, I would sort of suggest you design it around your dress. I've got this gold color by OPI. So I picked this color because if you see, it's really close to the dress. So for a base color, this really does work. It matches really, really well. So I always put two colors on for my base coat colors. And I say base coat because it's the main color. I'm gonna put another color on top of it. So I'm just gonna quickly polish up. This is a frost. So when you finish your nails, make sure you finish your nails flawlessly because uh, frost is not forgiving. I'm just gonna give myself a brace. So I'm gonna put two coats of this color on here. I do have a video on how to polish your nails profession if you wanna catch those tips. And just a quick tip, you don't dip the whole brush in. Just dip it in part of the way and wipe off one side so you just have polish on one side. And then when I get some on the skin, I do wipe it away right away because if it cures or dries on it, it's pretty messy to get off. It's harder to polish your own than it is to polish somebody else. And I always use two coats because the first coat always sort of absorbs into the nail, whether it's natural nail or acrylic, the first coat will absorb into it. Okay, got two coats of color. And for an accent color, I'm going to use this one by OPI. And it is called Brisbane Bronze. And there's little beads in there and I do shake them. I shake them all the time. I've been shaking for years. I've never had any problems with it. I know some of you are advised not to, but I really haven't any problems. Okay, so this is where the art comes in a little bit. If you like to do art on your nails, hopefully this will be an easy enough design. I think I'm just gonna do the one angle and then put diamonds on it. And I have some diamonds with me. Actually, they're Swarovski elements in them. And I just picked this up at Michael's actually. They're really pretty, we're gonna use that because it's the same colors as the dress. And this brown matches one of the diamonds that are on there. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull my skin back on my finger. Like I say, it's easier if you're doing someone else. If you've got a girlfriend, you guys can share and do each other's nails. It is a little easier to do someone else's than it is to do your own. When you do someone else's, at least you got two hands, right? When you do your own, you only got one. Maybe I'll go kind of a round fashion because there's kind of roundness in that dress. I was gonna go straight before, but maybe I'll go a bit round. Sometimes if you're working with yourself, brace it on something and you can let it pull your finger, like if you squish your finger down, the finger will come up around the sides. But if you sort of pull it on one side, you'll sort of pull the skin away. You're sort of using the counter to pull your skin away when you're doing a side one like that. Now this is very simple. This is nothing crazy. But you know, when you have a dress, you really want your prom dress to be the focal point. Nails are still an accent to what you're doing. So if it's a prom dress or a wedding dress, it's really, really the, the star of the show. You don't want the nails to be too decorative and too distracting. You want it to sort of blend with the dress, not be distracting. You want people to look at that dress. And the nails are to complement, right? So that's why I'm not gonna get too crazy. I still wanna make it that we're, we're still the focal point. The star of the show is the dress. Okay, so because I'm a two coater with everyone, I'm gonna just do a second coat on this. And now for the bling. Okay, so I'm just gonna polish secure these gems. Um, so I'm just going to um, do it with a clear coat. This is the fun part when you get to put the beads on wherever. 
I'm just going to follow that curve, I think. And that'll set right in there. I wasn't going to do that many, but... Those are huge. <laughs> I know! I wasn't going to do that many, but when you get faced with bling, it's hard to say no. Well, that's a big one. You thought that one was big. And then I'll go a little bit smaller. And then a little bit smaller. Because there's lots of bling on that dress. That's a big gem for a little nail. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh, they're shiny. They are, eh? That's Dazzling. good. Yeah, That's they look great want. on camera. Well, look at the dress, though. Mm -hmm. I mean... Yeah, no, that's going to look awesome. Okay, we have a thumb. Okay, I'm going to use a big... This one. Love that color. I love it better than the dark ones. Then I'll put a little dark one on the side. A little dark one on the side. And then we'll go to the lighter ones. Beautiful. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Oh my. Oh, stop it. <laughs> well, in the camera here, you can just see it. It it's really just, does shine up. Oh, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Well, I really like that. I can't wait to see the stills. Let's get a look at them. It's really fun to create a design specifically to one dress. I've done it for wedding dresses and prom dresses, and this is really cute. I hope you enjoy looking for your prom dress and creating prom nails to go with it. We'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.